2010, after moving from France to California, Terry retired from his full-time job as an insurance company and decided to open two businesses, in-home chef training and catering Chicago-style hot dogs. By the way, there's some really delicious Chicago hot, <laughs> hot dogs here. In January 2011, he was diagnosed with stage four malignant melanoma. Terry continues to battle melanoma and is doing what he can to maintain a positive outlook on life and encourages others to do the same. Very important, as we all know. Terry will be speaking on behalf of all the Courage Award recipients tonight. Please welcome Ter Terry Sikora. tonight, my goodness. I have Sandy Ramoli, and I actually see my son and his wife up on the balcony. That's good. Don't forget to get the good food here tonight, son. It's really yummy. I see a lot of friends and uh, just people that I met, doctors, and I met some good friends tonight, Kathleen, Harry, Ryan, and Rob. These are new friends of mine. But one thing we had in common is that we all had or have melanoma that we're dealing with in uh, different stages of our lives. How we arrived in this condition is uh, really tragic and it really is a personal story. We've been fighting this disease for uh, some time now and uh, many of us are continuing to fight it. Melanoma has no age limit. As you can see, Rob, a young man through the ages, myself included, it doesn't matter who it touches, it just touches us and it hurts. I felt like a death sentence when I was diagnosed with uh, stage four melanoma from Dr. Minor when I went to uh, the clinic or to uh, uh, whatever hospital it was. And uh, it, it was really a, a death sentence, it felt like that. I was stunned, I didn't know how to react. I felt that my life was a click of a finger changed immediately, and yet we need to move on. We really do. My life was turned around and upside down in a matter of seconds. I'm sure that uh, these other four friends that I've just met will have similar stories too of what it was like to go through that first statement that you have melanoma or you have cancer. Very difficult. Melanoma is ugly unpredictable, erratic, and believe me, it's ruthless. It doesn't quit. The fears and doubts just don't go away. As we face this terrible disease, the same feelings often force their way back into our minds, but we can't white knuckle it. And I've often told my doctors that. I said, I'm not gonna sit here and just clench my fist for the whole time. I'll die of that. And yet we really need to just sit back not take it easy, but move on forward. We have a positive way of looking at these things and really try to conquer what we're going through. A head full of fears has no place for dreams. We are all have speed bumps in our lives. Cancer is our speed bump. And that's something that we need to deal with. When the doctors on various occasions over the last two and a half years that I've been dealing with uh, treatment, they come up to me and say, well, Terry, you've reached another speed bump. I knew exactly what that was. He didn't have to tell me. It was another brain tumor, or another, my tumors in my lungs were growing. One or the other was not good news. Very difficult to take, but yet we have to pick ourselves up from that and move forward. I know what it meant. These speed bumps are something that we can go over and continue to move. There are many people in this room who have dealt with cancer, who are continuing to deal with cancer and living with it because we don't have a choice, do we? This is why we're all here this evening because it's a big part in finding cures for this type of cancer. The Melanoma Research Foundation is tirelessly working to stamp out this aggressive disease. 
and deadly cancer can happen without your support, without your donations, and without your help. Spread the word, fight the fight against cancer, and be part of the cure, please. Something more powerful than cancer unites us, it's hope. The message we're, we want you to take home this evening is hope. Hope that we all have, that we can get over this terrible disease. We look forward to the day where there won't be no needles punctured in our skin, no infusions, no CT scans, no MRIs. Believe me, it hurts. As a matter of fact, where I go to the clinic in Los Angeles, the Angeles Clinic, they have on my chart, jumper. Because every time a needle gets close to me, I jump. I hate needles. But yet, this is something that I need to go through. My brother continues to tell me, he lives in Austin, Texas, to hang in there because there's gonna be a day when there'll be a cure or they'll actually stop the growth of the tumors. As a matter of fact, I heard a, uh, a news, a uh, little thing on national news last night about melanoma. They were saying uh, something very interesting. There was a person who had stage four melanoma who was able to be cured from it miraculously, which I think, because in my case, uh, I've taken many treatments and really not much has worked for me, but I keep fighting on. And there's a quote that I'd like to, uh, the doctor, I believe in the news last night said, it's the most promising era for treatment and curing cancer. I couldn't agree more. That's the hope we have us here in the platform, as well as others in the audience, we have a hope for that. So we all have many people to thank for assisting us, too many to really personally name, but we really thank you so much for being here. We will forever be grateful for the support, the donations, and the help you give us with our cancer. Thank you. Terry, thank you so much. Christina, thank you as well. It is wonderful to see you back here again this year and to all our Courage Award recipients. Congratulations. Thank you for inspiring all of us.